wait for it. Wait for it. Let's see if it picks up. Definitely making it to restream, just not YouTube. Let's see. Maybe it just didn't refresh yet. I doubt it. No, of course not. Well, regardless, regardless, we will. We'll do this anyhow. I've had this this question a few times and it's been buried deep within uh, other live streams so real quick just kind of end of the day thing. And not saying you can't use a USB 3 drive you know something with a blue connector or yellow if it's Lenovo brand or whatever color the manufacturer chooses to use for USB 3. But uh, I always I, I tend to stick to USB two for making like recovery media, like for BIOS, uh, firmware updates, and that. I've had success with USB three, but way more with USB two. And this is just going to be a simple quick. And this I stay, tend to use sixteen gig or below. Some com it's finicky with the process. And this is mainly for HP computers. There may be some other manufacturers that will accept, uh, or not accept, but you can do this way. I know some you still have to use. You reboot the computer from the BIOS, like from in the BIOS, you'll reboot to like a flashing mode and it'll load up the USB drive. The HP one is a little different for some HP computers, not all. So let's go over this method real quick. I'm going to go ahead and flip over to my screen. Let's plug in the flash drive. Okay, so here's the flash drive. HP Tools. Real quick, we'll go there. I am going to format HP Tools one with a right click format FAT32 14.9 gig we'll just leave it uh, we'll change it to 16 gig not that it matters it's gonna change itself again once we make this BIOS recovery media Alright, so the format is complete. Close. Uh, very simple process. Let's take a moment and look up an HP 15-F010DX. Alright, we'll go to this link here. and our BIOS, BIOS file is here. If we click download we'll see that I have already downloaded this. It's here but now we have another one with the one in it. Same number so I'll just cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and open this one this is the BIOS recovery uh, now we're not run we're running this on my PC not on the computer that it was intended for so let's go ahead and click next I accept we have to the HP 
and many in, man, other manufacturers love to strong arm you into agreeing. You have to. You gotta accept the strong arm tactics or you don't get to use their stuff. So. Alright. Next. And I just do this. Let's move this one out of the way. Okay. We're gonna close this one. I had two of them running on accident. Okay, so this is the HP BIOS update and necessary and recovery utility. It can update the system BIOS on this device, create a recovery USB flash drive to use on devices with corrupted BIOS, copy the BIOS image in order to use it on other devices. We're going to hit next. Create recovery USB flash drive. You could also, if you had something that was already formatted, such as another, uh, say we, we already had created an HP BIOS in the past, recovery media uh, in the past, you could copy these files over, and when you boot it up, it would give you a choice between the two. We're going to do this now. Hit next. something I'm not seeing here. Let's do this. If it crashes, it does. I've had it happen a few times. It, it looks like it's not responding. Uh, there we go. So it sees my 16 gigabyte drive. That was the volume name I'd given it. We're going to take that one. We can actually format it. I don't know if that took, if it actually clicked. already for him. Let's try next. All of the files will be in a Hewlett Packard folder. Once it's done it tells you where they'll be. Alright and done. So that's done. Let's see if we can look up the HP 15-F010DX manual. Or I guess service manual would be a better term. Boy, I'm really stuck here. Which one is going to give us what we want? Hard drive, something. User guide, maintenance, and service guide. Let's try this one. Seventy three seventy five. Okay, so here are the steps. What is this? Ah, uh -huh. went to 63. So let's scroll down a few.
All right, with some computers, there is a method you may have to, it may tell you to unplug the power, then after unplugging the power, hold down the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds, insert your BIOS recovery media, and then plug power back in, and then power it on. Sometimes there's a combination of keys you have to check in your individual manual depending on your HP notebook or all-in-one or desktop whether if there's a method to get the BIOS recovery USB to boot. Some of them you don't have to boot with a key combination. You, just, you simply, when you turn it on, it's going to see it. How you generally know it's working is the computer will have that the lit up screen but it will be black and then it will restart a few times and then eventually it'll come up and you should get your HP logo with other manufacturers it's the process varies really it just comes down to reading your reading the manual for your specific motherboard or the manufacturer of your computer for the BIOS update it's a fairly straightforward process and there are examples pretty extreme bad examples out there like the HP 23 all-in-one recliner that even when you try a BIOS recovery it has known BIOS recovery corruption issues and you end up having to flash it with an Arduino and you're connecting to pins you gotta remove a black jumper and shift a blue jumper from left to right I believe it's yeah it gets pretty nuts whenever you run into the one of the bad ones but overall it's a pretty straightforward process unless you have to do some of the really nerdy geeky stuff anyhow that was a simple way to make HP BIOS recovery media for most older HP notebooks not old older ones but some of the older ones anyhow have a good weekend hope this finds you healthy happy safe out there keep you and yours your family your close circle of people around you safe Let's get this done over with so the world can return to normal. We'll be back again hopefully soon with another podcast episode. If you like that sort of thing, talking head, check it out. Have a good rest of your afternoon, evening, good morning, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Enjoy it. And as always, thank you for watching. I will see you then. I can go home now, right, Dad? I did the work. I'm free. Ha <laughs> ha.